Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Super happy to see everyone here. Guys, for today's episode, I'm going to share to you my entire but small Louis Vuitton collection. Also, I will be wrapping them from least use to most use. So hope guys, you can stay with me until the end of this episode. Hey guys, Ron here, Soaking Budgetar and Fashionista. I publish vlog every Wednesdays and Saturdays about the latest about fashion. I do luxury shopping vlogs, hauls and unboxings. I also do bag reviews and provide styling tips. I'm inviting you to please join our ever-going fam. There's a cute little icon here. So please click on that one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family. Please like and share this video and follow me on my new Instagram account that's at Ramirify2 for daily updates and styling tips coming from me. Alright guys, so I will be racking my collection from least use to most use and you know guys, I have very teeny tiny Louis Vuitton bags in my collection. Plus, also I will be sharing all the links of these bags on the description box below just in case you are interested in purchasing them and adding them to your collection. Let us begin. Alright, for the least use Louis Vuitton bag in my collection, guys, you are going to be surprised. It is my... Louis Vuitton Petit Sac Lap. Yes, guys. So, even myself, I was surprised with this one, but I just wanted to be honest and share this to you. This Louis Vuitton Petit Sac Lap, you know, this is my baby. This is the very first LV bag that I purchased directly from our LV store. That's why it holds a very special place in my heart. Unfortunately, the only reason why I'm ranking as the least used Louis Vuitton bag is because of her size. So as the name suggests, Petit Sac that she is very small. She is very tiny. So just a size comparison, I have here my Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch 26. So as you know, 26 centimeters. And this is just half of the toiletry pouch. And then as you are going to see here, so that is for the size comparison. They're almost the same height. And of course, since this one, the canvas of this one is very sturdy compared to the toiletry pouch. So there is not much of a gift for you to be able to extend the sides or the gussets of the petite sack flat. That is why guys, if you are wanting to add a Louis Vuitton petite sack flat in your collection, you need to be very mindful of what you are going to bring. I think it's still workable if you are going to carry this as an everyday bag later. I'm going to show you a secret. But in my recommendation, this is best for a party bag, an evening bag. So of course, if you are going to carry this bag, guys, you need to be very mindful of the things that you are going to put in. For me, it's either I would be putting in my phone, my card holder, and the lipstick, or I could remove the phone, I could insert my power bank, my card holder, and the lipstick, that's it. But guys, the secret that I wanted to share to you is if, if for example, you have other attachment, just like what I did with my birthday party or birthday dinner celebration, what I did was I added the Louis Vuitton Kikley as a bag charm, and then I added my Fendi micro bag added to her as a, another charm as well, that I could use those Sultel bags as an extra space where I'm going to put in my oil control fill, another lipstick as a card holder. Then for example, maybe in your collection you have the Louis Vuitton round coin purse from the multi pochette. That would be great. Actually, I'm looking for that one for the price that I wanted to pay for that. If I could get that, then definitely it would be a good addition to the Louis Vuitton Petit Sac. But so guys, I'm going to link in the description box just in case you're interested to purchase this one because honestly, I purchased this one around 75,000 Philippine pesos here during that time and right now the price it has increased so much so to be honest guys also I would like to share um, I am thinking whether if I would be purchasing another Louis Vuitton bag which is much larger if I would keep this in my collection although I am thinking that I may be resenting that decision if I would be selling this because again the price has gone up for this bag and if you're still going to look at her she's still very cute and very lovely to look at what do you think guys All right so the next Louis Vuitton in my collection is the Louis Vuitton Kikley so honestly guys so the I'm putting it on the also on the least used category for my Louis Vuitton collection and the only reason is sometimes I keep on forgetting that I already have 
uh, Louis Vuitton Kikli. As you know guys, this is one of my birthday presents from me to me. So this is just barely new and honestly up to this point i still couldn't believe it that i was able to get this one directly from the store because i feel that getting a monogram version is one of the like getting a unicorn bag from louis vuitton so i was able to get this i'm very happy it's just that most of the times i would be forgetting that i have this so i just think i need to keep on reminding myself that i have this you could use this also guys what i love about the Kikle aside from being, you know, a difficult SLG to get directly from the LV boutique, is there are several ways you could use the Louis Vuitton Kikle. So of course you could use it to store as many things as you want. So number one, you could store your credit cards in here. So this could actually store lots of credit cards. It could also store your keys or your coins your medicine plus just like what i did again i'm going just to put a photo here you could use this as a bag charm so this one also the reason why i wanted to get this immediately is because since i don't have the round coin purse um i could use this as a bag charm for my petite sack lab all right so now let's move on to the most used louis vuitton bag in my collection so the second most used bag is my Louis Vuitton Papillon bag in black epi leather. Yes, so let's talk of the advantages of having this bag first. So again guys, she is made of black epi leather but she also come in the monogram canvas and I believe if I'm not mistaken that they may have been as well. So it's the same look for different materials. So again, this is the epi leather. So one of the advantages of this one of course is the material itself. So this is one of the vintage bags that I have in my collection. I purchased this one pre love from my best friend. Um, if I'm not mistaken, on her date coach, she is made around the 95 or year 1996. But because of she is made with epi leather, as you are going to see, so epi leather here, and then th these are, um, if I'm not mistaken, just cowhide or calfskin leather. So this is the front, guys. So let's take a closer look because I wanted to show you how well crafted this bag is so this is the side if you're going to look at the glazing guys there is no cracking or anything back the bottom part of course then the leather handles so to be honest guys if i would just be applying more leather conditioner on this one she could almost pass as brand new except for of course the hardware are not as gold anymore so i super love the material of this one she's very sturdy she is very scratch resistant number two pro of this bag is of course this style comes with two bags so she comes with the mother papillon bag and she comes with a fully detachable papillon bag so let me just show you so you could detach this one so you could detach her so you could use this one separately as a party bag or you could use this one separately as well so you could attach this one to any bags that you have as well like this right then of course the third pro of this bag what i really love is of course the size so again for size comparison toiletry pouch 26 papillon bag so as you're going to see so this is definitely longer and of course on the sides here so this is definitely longer definitely bigger that's why i super love her because of the amount you could put inside so i could put everything here plus more so my phone my makeup my chanel makeup pouch my card holder i could even put this inside i could put an umbrella i could even put a small mineral water bottle here plus i could also put like an extra shirt here so that's why guys so whenever i would be running out um maybe for a whole day event and i would want to carry a luxury bag but doesn't scream louis vuitton i would be getting this one because as you know guys the logo of louis vuitton is just very tiny it's here it's louis vuitton so people would not really know what this bag is not unless they know so guys i will be putting on the description box because these are still available on the pre-love market so i will be putting them um unfortunately the resale value is not high but definitely guys i would be recommending you for you to get a louis vuitton epi papillon leather bag 
Alright, so for my final and most used Louis Vuitton bag in my collection, it is my Louis Vuitton Toiletry Pouch 26. Yes, guys! So I'm sure everyone would not agree and would say, ah, oh, that's just an SLG. But for me, guys, I don't use her just an SLG or some toiletry pouch, but I use her as a bag. So I so love this one for a couple of reasons. So number one, of course, the price of this one. So I was able to snag this one because of my very kind CA um, last year before it got discontinued. So I was able to purchase this in directly from our Louis Vuitton stores because if you are going to purchase this one brand new from a reseller definitely you are going to pay premium for that which I am not prepared to be paying for so second of course is the size of this one so Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch 26 centimeters so definitely you could fit so much in this bag so actually I featured this on my previous vlog I'm going to link it up here and put it on the description box because the the canvas material here is very malleable so you could put a lot here so this is the inside so it has a wipeable interior and I just have the insert here so that is the third thing that I love about this bag is because since I have the insert here I'm able to now convert this just basic toiletry pouch into a shoulder bag so the insert here i just purchased from our shopee here that's our version of local amazon so it comes with card slots it's made of bell and it has a d-ring so now i could attach my chains and transformer so this is now her look as you could see so i have attached her two chains so this one, the longer one, I could carry as a shoulder bag or even as a crossbody bag. Then if I could also carry her as a top handle. Then of course, I have just attached this very cute Fendi bag charm here, right? So, you know, she looks very cute and very quirky. I feel that it gives a little bit character to this bag. So again, what I also love about this bag is of course, um, since this is a discontinued bag, I feel that I was so lucky to finally have her, especially right now. As we know, Louis Vuitton has re-released this version and named it as the Toiletry Pouch with Chain. Which it would come with this exact size here and it would come with the Toiletry Pouch 15. The only difference here is on the side, it would come with the Vachetta Leather and now it would come with the... A tab here that would have the d-ring so you could because it also comes with a chain so of course that one I'm going to put here the price is the price is a lot higher compared to this one plus I think to be honest um, I'm not a fan of the Vachetta leather here I love Louis Vuitton but it's just I'm really afraid of you know a really large leather Vachetta strip here on the side and the interior of that one, if I'm not mistaken, is no longer wipeable like this, although it has a card insert. So for me, so this is just, guys, my uh, you know unpopular opinion, but to be honest, if, for example, you are going to make me choose between the new toiletry pouch on chain versus the original toiletry pouch 26, definitely I would still go for this one. So what I'm just regretting with this bag is I wasn't able to get the limited edition of the toiletry pouch 26 because there are some capsule collection that released this like for example the Wild at Heart collection my CA pre-ordered me that one unfortunately didn't came then of course there's also the giant monogram collection if would be given a chance maybe I could add one more from the giant monogram collection definitely I would want to get for the toiletry pouch 26 so now what are my plans in my Louis Vuitton journey am I thinking to add more Louis Vuitton bags and SLGs in my collection the answer definitely is a big yes so the bag that I'm wanting to add to my collection or is on my wish list is right now is the Louis Vuitton Alma PM in the the May B. Yes, guys, so I have been craving and obsessing on this bag. I know I mentioned I would not want to purchase this one brand new direct from the store because of a bad resale value, but I just couldn't help myself. It's like 
the back is calling to me so this is one of my wish list and I already told my CA that I wanted this bag also the people 25 and the new collection the pre spring summer 2023 for men's um, I'm going to put a photo here and I've done a vlog for that one that one I also wanted to check in the collection then of course there is a version of the toiletry pouch in that collection as well it's the pochette voyage I would also want to get in the graffiti collection there how about you guys um let me know um what are your thoughts about my really small Louis Vuitton collection are you planning to add more to your collection let's have conversation kindly comment down below Again, guys, before we end this episode, I'm inviting you to please join our ever-growing fam. There's a cute little icon here. So please click on that one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family. Please like and share this video and follow me on my new Instagram account that's at Ramirify2 for daily updates and styling tips coming from me. A million thank you guys for staying with me in today's episode. I'm going to leave a couple of videos here for you to check out. Please stay safe. I'm going to see each and every one of you soon. Bye!